when you're just waiting for the spring to come and it's not there yet and you wish it was. So crank up the central heating and, uh, and here we go. I'm Alexandra Alenska and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno as well as magazines including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life because I know you're ready to rock life again. Okay, so this is my Capri tablecloth to brighten up the dreariest of long winter days. So I've decorated with fruit. As you know, I love decorating with fruit. It's so simple and easy. These are just some flowers that I got in a bouquet. I just snipped their heads off and pop them into a short vase. We've got the colors of the Capri sunset here and our limoncello cocktail from um, another video. I love to mix different textures within a tablescape. My starting point is often a color scheme and a theme. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to anchor your table. So here we've got this lovely lilac linen tablecloth. Linen is great because it crumples up and it means it's not too precious, you know. Nobody wants to go to a dinner where they feel awkward or uncomfortable. What you want is to set parameters for people and sort of suggest guidelines through your tablescaping, but to make your guests feel comfortable and welcomed. So we've got the tablecloth to ground the color scheme of the table. And then we've got this sort of central display so that no matter how many table settings you put around the table, if it's an informal dinner, maybe for yourself, maybe for for your partner or for friends, then obviously you can adjust the positioning of the candles and set the plates around the table. Um, this, however, grounds and roots your table in the middle, a small display of fruit. Obviously, you want your central display to be low enough so that people can still talk to each other across the table. Um, I love using um, colourful candles. It's good just to have some basic things that you can use across different schemes, um, such as these transparent glass candle holders. They're neutral enough to go with absolutely any scheme. I love to collect my bits and pieces from around the world and there's always a bit of a high-low mix going on. That could be a marble bowl from one of the high street home retailers. This silver tray was from my travels in Japan. Really, I love the fact that your possessions tell the story of your own style. Also, I've said it before, but don't be afraid to like go around your house go into different rooms, you know, maybe in your bathroom you've got some shelves, for example, um, that you could put into different themed tablescapes. When I was initially thinking of this colour scheme to be the colours of a powdery sunset and then with some zesty lemon in the mix, I thought of this, but in the end there was enough going on on my tablescape so I didn't need the tassel. But don't hesitate to really think creatively um, to bring different elements into your tablescape. It's going to make it really rich and personal and make your guests feel super comfortable. So in the winter months, I also love some summer sandals to get me in the mood to dream of summers. So I paint my nails in some fun color. So in this instance, I've got my metallic glitter green nail polish worn with my Jimmy Choo wedges. I've been inspired here by a Capri sunset. Oh, those beautiful powdery sunsets. Um, but maybe you'll be inspired by the fiery coral and unleash your Italian passion. Coral is often seen as a really summery colour and it also works really well with rich winter red burgundies and velvets so you can bring a touch of Italian Dolce Vita into your home whatever the season. You can also lose yourself in a slim Aaron's photography book on your coffee table full of high society vintage pictures in Capri and beyond. It's time to get this slim Aaron's book out onto that coffee table accompanied by a freshly brewed espresso naturally. Maybe you want to use a different colour scheme, maybe white, with shades of yellows and blues and ocean turquoise. It's really up to you. Today I'm wearing my silk peach dress from English label Galvan because I think it matches my colour scheme. But if I wasn't wearing this, I'd love to be wearing some Pucci with some Italian swirls on, something that I might wear in Capri. I'm imagining that I'm at the Capri Palace, being taken to the beach, that secluded little Lido that can only be reached by climbing down hundreds of stairs or coming directly by the boat from the harbour. Don't forget about your music. I'll be playing 
Ornella Vanini or Dalida, some wonderful cheesy Italian music to really lift the spirits, whatever the season. Et voila, I hope you've enjoyed my Italian tablescape to bring some Dolce Vita into your life. Merci, à la prochaine, bye bye.